It's been, a, I think, really exciting place to come, and I think this is the first time in my knowledge that uh, all of these things have been brought together in one conference, so to have an open science fair that brings together open access and open data and text and data mining and all these different developments in one place, um, that was the attraction for us. And, uh, and the venue here is, you know, one, a wonderful venue and the views from the top are, are really great and uh, yeah, it's been a, a real pleasure to attend. I'm the founder and director of Research Consulting, so we're a very small consultancy based in the UK. Um, I started the company about five years ago. We've now got three employees plus myself and a number of associates and we exist essentially to improve research and improve scholarly communication. And so we work with universities, we work with publishers, government bodies and not-for-profits in that, in that field. Um, and we do a lot of work in things like open access, open data, text and data mining, all the topics which are addressed at this, this fair. So it seemed an ideal place for us to come along to. So um, we, we tend to undertake consultancy projects to often to understand some of the projects um, or the, sorry, the challenges and the barriers that uh, researchers face or that universities face in making the move to, to open access. So a lot of what we'll do is going out and gathering data. So sometimes that means interviews. So we run interviews with stakeholders across Europe to understand different national contexts for open access and perhaps some of the issues that they face in moving moving to open access. We also do surveys, um, we'll look at data and analysis and I think a lot of what we're doing is doing the hard work to really get a sense of what's going on and then summarising that for the benefit of policy makers and decision makers so they've got a really good evidence base to then decide the best way forward.